Alright everyone, today I'm going to be looking at uh, the Wraith Rovers player ratings of 2021 and the 2022 season. Now if you've just heard the news, John McLean and Paul Smith are leaving. Uh, they're not re-signing their contracts, which I think is a bit annoying. I think it's going to really mess up the squad cohesion we have. So we just try to get a replacement in quick. I don't really know who we're going to get, but it'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be looking at every player that's played for the club this season. I, I, I might have missed one. If I don't think I have, but if I have, give me a shout. Uh, and please, if you don't agree with the people I'm putting in certain brackets, argue with me in the comments. I'm more than happy to to discuss. So, starting off with uh, young player Kai Fotheringham, who's on, in on loan uh, at the start of the season. I thought he looked alright, especially for a young player. I think he was 18-19. It looked very good actually, very composed, really, really good dribbling. And it's a shame that he picked up that injury because I think especially when we were running low on players towards in the second half of the season, he would have been someone that I think could have really put in, a, put in a good shift. So I think for me, I don't think he'd done enough for me to put him in the great players, so I'll put him near the top of the average or all right players. Uh, next up, Aaron Arnett. Now I was actually very impressed with uh, young Aaron Arnett. Um, I think he's probably your best young player. I think last season I said it was Quinn Coulson. This season I think Aaron's definitely taking over that role. He's had numerous appearances. He scored the goal against Kilmark in the uh, semi-cup, uh, semi-final, not the semi-cup. Uh, and I think he's just going to get better with more game time for me. For, so for me, I think we're going to have to put him above Kai Fowler in him. Uh, next up, Aidan Connolly. And I think this one's very easy. For me, he has to go to the very top. He scored, I think, the most goals for us this season in the league. I think tied maybe with Dario Zanara. I think he's got the most assists. Someone that I don't think was very much anticipated, anticipated to be like a strong player for us, and I think he's really done a job for us. So I'm really happy for Aidan Connolly. I think he's just gonna get better, hopefully, next season. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with the signing. I think that he's definitely exceeded uh, expectation. Uh, next up, Benny. Now, if you've heard the news, I think he's going to be leaving uh, to join John McGlynn at Falkirk, which is annoying. But at the same time, Benny, on his day, fantastic centre-back. Absolutely fantastic. However, he is not the most consistent player, I have to admit. So, but he's... Yeah, no, nah, he has to be a great player. Has to be a great player. Um, up next, Christoph Berra. Now, at the start of the season... Uh, I posted a tweet of saying Barra defends like a crust or cream. Obviously, he could do better defending than what I could, but I was really not happy with Barra, especially at the start of the season. Especially when we drew it that uh, 4 all in the opening day of Hamilton. I was furious at that. But Barra really improved. He's very streetwise, really like him. Uh, he's commanding, and I like that. And I think for me, he has to be one of the best players. So I think he's. You know, he's a Scotland international, you would expect him to come and do a, a job, and he definitely has done that, and I think it's good that he was on a two-year extension, because now we have him again to help and direct other centre-backs that we have. Uh, next up, Brad Spencer. I think the first half of the season, he was one of our best players. However, when he came back from his injury, I think he was very poor. I mean, maybe not, maybe I'm over-exaggerating it, but I didn't rate him in the second half of the season when he came back from his injury. Um, so for me, I'm going to put him in the break players. Uh, I don't think he'll re-sign, which is a shame. Uh, but I think he'll probably join John McGlynn at Falkirk. Um, so yeah, moving on. Uh, Belize Riley Snow. Now this is someone I actually rated a bit. Uh, I think he was very, very good in the Aberdeen game. Um, I was really happy. Uh, I think he played almost perfectly. And I think it's a shame because I think you have to admit that, you know, he hardly played a game since. So it is a bit of a shame for Blaze. So I think I'm going to have to put Blaze in the average players because he didn't really get his chance. And I feel like he definitely deserved that chance, especially after his performance against Aberdeen. Now, Dario Zanara, who I've had my pro has my profile picture on many social media accounts um, for the majority of the season. For me, I think he's still, even though yes, he has had a poor second half of the season. The, his first half of the season was phenomenal. Why can't I say that? 
Um, and I think you have, you have to put them in maybe the lowest of the best players. I don't, I don't really want to fill up the best players bracket because I don't want, you know, not all of your players to be your best players. So I think those three for, for us this season, I think they're our top three, to be honest with you, with Aiden Connolly there and Zenato. Uh, moving on, Dave McKay, I thought, you know, when he went out on loan to, I think, Edinburgh City. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I was like, I, I'm sure he can do a bit better of that, than that. And I thought he was actually quite good, Dave McKay. I think he's also one of the ones, I think, who's going to join Falkirk with John McGlynn. However, I will say, he, he looked quite good, especially uh, the Arbroath team. I think there was a 0 no, Ar no, I can't remember. Um, most recent Arbroath team, I thought he was very good. He's composed, and I think he looks improved. I think he can provide good competition next season for you know the likes of Berra, hopefully Frankie Masonda. Um Oh, wait, where's Frankie Masonda? Well, he is definitely not on my list here, I don't think. Yeah, he isn't. I don't know why that is. Oh, no, he's there. Never mind. No, forget what I was saying then. Uh, Tom Lang. Um, yeah, I think he could pr pr provide a uh, good competition, but I don't think he will be re-signed. So, for me, I think he's... It's probably... Yeah, I'll put him above... Oh, Aaron Aaron or Dave McCary. I'd probably... Probably rather have Aaron Aaron than Dave McKay. Next up, Dylan Tate. Um, obviously, sold him to Hibs on I think deadline day. I wasn't very pleased. I think he's just going to get wasted by Hibs. I don't think he's good enough for Hibs. You know, I mean, it's I think it's good that Hibs taking are taking a chance with him. However, he was instantly loaned back to Killy. He hardly played at Killy. I don't really know what to say. Um, now. I don't know what, what the future holds for Dylan Tate. I, I, I really wish him all the best. Although he performs and becomes the next Kevin Lisbeth, even though they don't play in the same position. I think he was all right. I didn't think he was anything incredible. I'd probably put him above all these guys. However, I, compared to that, I feel like he was missing something when he was on loan. I feel like he just wanted to just leave and get to Hibs. Don't know if that's just me, but next up, Ethan Varian. The thing is with Varian is I think he put the work in. You know, he was good at winning the ball in the air. However, when you look at a striker, you want to look, you want him to score goals. And he didn't do that. The fact this guy played so much in comparison to Poplatnik is unbelievable. Poplatnik is a far better player, yes. Poplatnik's more experienced. But Varian, it just isn't good enough. And I'm really glad the season's over. And if I'm being honest, right, I think... I'm going to have to put him sell him release. I, want, I, I, I don't want him to come back. He seems like a nice lad, but I didn't rate him when, whilst he was here. Um, moving on, Frankie Misonda. Really like Frankie. I've got to put him probably above Brad Spencer, I think. I don't think he had the best season. I think his last season, I think he was a lot better. However, I really want this guy to re-sign. I really like him. You know, got called up by the Zambia national team. He played as well. And I just really like Frankie. I hope he resigns. Uh, next up, Greg Young, uh, youngster. I rate him. I really do rate him. I think he's maybe behind Arn at our best youngster. May, you know, maybe Coulson and Mitchell they can come into that equation. But yeah, I hope this guy gets more game time. He seemed pretty good. Uh, we'll put him in the, at the bottom of the average on all right players. Now this bracket isn't to say that these guys are not good. But when I say average, but it's. I feel like you can't have all your players being best and great players. Some of your players are just like decent, you know. Oh, Jamie Marker, actually, this guy has to be at the very top. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to move Zenata down here to the great players at the top here. Jamie Marker, oh, Jammer, what a player, honestly. What a player. He's he kept us in it so many times. He won. He won fans player of the season. I voted for him for fans player of the season. Most people I know vote for him for fans player of the season. He was excellent. He really was. Yeah, fantastic goalkeeper. Kilmarnock probably upset that they actually sold him. But yeah, really, I'm really hoping he can just carry on doing his thing. Uh, Kira Mitchell, another youngster. Uh, I don't really have too much to say about him. You know, I know he scored in a friendly against someone. Strunner, I might have been. Uh, and he looks alright. He looks alright. Um, I'm going to put him in the average alright players. I don't really know what else to say about him. Uh, next up, Kyle Bow. Again, I have no clue what to say about this guy. He's hardly, he's hardly even seen, even on the bench. Uh, I think you've just got to put him straight into this category. I don't have any opinion to say. 
Uh, next up, William Dick. I don't really know what to put him in because I feel like he wasn't that great, if I'm being honest. <sighs> like, well, like sometimes he was good. Sometimes he was trying to be very, but he's inconsistent. I don't think his defensive work is good enough. But at the same time, unlike Tumulty, Tumulty, I don't think his defensive work's the best. However, his attacking work is excellent. Liam, on the other hand, he's no his attacking work is like it's all right, but I think Tumulty, in the sense of an attacking fullback, is clear of Liam. Uh, so I think we're gonna have to, uh, behind or in front Tate, probably behind. I don't rate him that much. I think um, I think we should be looking for a new left back. Uh, maybe even Sean Mackey is there. I think he could maybe do better. Uh, Luke Mahadi, again, nothing to say about him. I know he scored a goal on the loan at Cowden Beef one time, but I don't. I, I mean, I think he's been at Burnt Island Shipyard now, but I couldn't tell you how he's doing uh, for them. So um, he, again, he's just gonna have to go in that category there. Uh, oh, the main man, number ten, Lewis Vaughn. Ah, uh, you can't really say anything. I mean. Just, you have to put him there, great because he's a Rafe Rovers legend. He plays one game all season and he scores two goals. Like, I think that says it all. One thing I will say actually about Varian is that final game, in the final game against Kilmarnock, his goal should have stand, stand with, like, the Charlie McCarthy, he's completely just dived to the floor. Varian, I don't like, it. it's a complete joke, honestly. I mean, we should have won that game 3 4 1. We should have been up 3 0, 4 4 0 half time. Um, Matej Paplatnik, you know, I, first half of the season I didn't really rate this guy, I was screaming to get another striker in, but, oh, this, he's, he's won us the cup final, he's carried us the second half of the season in terms of goals, this man needs to re-sign, needs, needs to re-sign, he's out of contract at Livingston, this is someone I'd like to see join the club permanently, fantastic player, fantastic player, up top with Lewis Vaughan next season, he could he could be the he could be the real deal. Uh, next up, Ben Williamson. Ooh, I think you can tell the quality difference between Ben Williamson uh, and many other players, and I think that was evident in the Kilmarnock game, uh, the last game anyway. You know, I think Sam Stanton got a man of the match. I think he was also pretty much man of the match as well. He was fantastic, Ben Williamson. You can tell the uh, difference in quality. Uh, you really can. For me, he has to be, yeah, he has to be above the Zanata. Uh, he definitely won't re-sign. He'll probably go out on loan to a Premiership club next season. You never know. Rangers might use him, but I highly doubt it. Uh, Ethan Ross, easy one for me. I think he's, yeah, he's there. Fantastic player. I'm I was so happy when we got this guy in because I think in the summer I was screaming for this guy to be signed because he's a brilliant player. Fantastic dribbler. Fantastic passer. Sort a decent shot. He's a player that I really, really like, and I'm hope, I'm hoping thrives. Cause he started when he first joined. He was really, really good, but he sort of slowed down a bit. But I'm really hoping he can pick her up, up at the start of the next season, because he is someone I really, really rate as a player. And uh, next up, Jamie Dolan. I have to say, it, um, I was really disappointed with uh, the hammer. I was actually, I was so happy we signed this guy uh, in January. So happy because I, I was saying we needed a striker for so long. And I'm really happy this is the man we brought in. I really like Jamie. Um, however, he wasn't good. He scored one one goal and it was a penalty. He missed a penalty. I didn't really get much of a vibe that he was really doing great, to be honest. Like, I just don't... I really, really hope he can hit the ground running next season. Because I think if we were able to re-sign Poplatnik, I don't think... Now that Magdalena thinks leaving, I don't know if that will happen. You know, I think competition will be fierce. I think the new manager will probably look to bring in maybe one, maybe even two strikers, and I think that will really provide competition for Gullen and hoping he can thrive. Uh, next up, Sean Mackey. Um, at first, I didn't rate him. However, I did think he improved, and I thought he looked decent. Um, I'm not going to say great. I'm going to put him at the top of the average slash all right players. And, I would, you know, he's out of contract to Hibs. You know, I doubt Hibs will give him a contract extension. Let's bring him in here. I don't see why not. I think he's better than Liam. Let's bring him in. Uh, next up, Quinn Coulson. Uh, one guy I actually know. Uh, really, really sound. Um, I'm, I was actually a bit disappointed he didn't play as much as I hoped in the friendlies. We only had three friendlies, mind you. 
Um, he went on the at Cowden Beef. He played quite a lot, to be fair, but I don't think he got any goals or assists, which is a shame. So I, 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 I obviously I didn't watch the matches. I couldn't tell you how influential he was. Uh, so he just has to go in there. Robbie Thompson again. I, he hardly played. I mean, I think he deserved to play the cup matches, especially after um, against Inverness. He got the the penalty uh, shootout win. You know, I, th I think he deserves more of a chance. He's a quality player, quality player. But the thing is, when you have you know Jammer in goals, it's, it's a hard, hard battle. And uh, next up, Ross Matthews, probably my favourite player at the club. Absolute, mm, sorry, absolutely love this man. His aggression is, you know, it's fantastic. I'm gonna put on, yeah, there. I think he's, I think he's an absolute fantastic player, honestly. You know, Rafe legend, really. You know, Rafe Youth Academy. And I think he's someone that I just love, you know, his Falkirk tier celebration um, when he scored against Falkirk this season. I think that just, that's probably one of my favourite moments. Oh, just what a player. Um, Reading Tumley, he, I, will admit, I think the last season I had this guy in the best players. This season he wasn't as good in my opinion. I don't know why that was, but I didn't feel like he did as much compared to last season. However, I think... Whenever I, you know, I didn't, I didn't watch the most matches, so I, my opinion might be wrong here. So I mean, I, I never really go to a away game. I go to a couple if they're like somewhat in proximity. Um, but it's like I didn't get a vibe that he was as good as he was last season. However, I will say he is a player that I want to re-sign, and I really, really hope he re-signs because he is. He's fantastic. I think if this guy can get better at defending. This guy can easily make it as a Premiership right back, because he's got the attack, he's got the drive, pace, cross, you know, he's got the shot. You know, he was so lucky not to score a couple bangers this season. Next up, uh, oh wow, I, f I forgot who this was. You know, James Keatings. I don't, I, I don't even know what to say to James Keatings. I, like, I, I don't. Is he still a Wraith player? I don't even know. I think when we saw Jimmy Gollum join in January, he took over a short number. I think at that point everyone knew James Keatings was done at the club. I have no opinion on James Keatings. I guess we can put him here, I guess. I don't like I don't know why we signed I I'm I said it myself in, in the summer. I was like I don't think this is gonna be a good signing. It wasn't. Uh, next up Sam Stanton. He he goes second. Absolutely brilliant. Midfield maestro. I think that again the difference in quality between like Stanton and some of the other players is clear. It's really clear. Like some, he does make the the odd bad play. However, overall he's just a fantastic player. Next up, Tom Lang. He was a, he was our best defender along with Berra. That centre back combination between Tom Lang and Crystal Berra was absolutely fantastic. And for me, on his day, this man is absolutely incredible. I was so surprised at how good he was. Um, I will say, when I, I went, when I, I think his best game, well, one of them in my opinion, was when we won 1-0 against Kilmarnock at home. Dario Zanata penalty, um, Tom Lang um, and Berra, their defensive performance was absolutely phenomenal. And finally, um, Masson, I think it is, he didn't go in there, and yeah, that's my Wraith player ratings this season. I hope let me tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you agree. Tell me if you disagree. Tell me if you think I'm correct. Uh, tell me what you think of the situation. Um, what you want to know, and yeah, I'll see see everyone later, and I hope we can push on next season. All right, take care, guys.